All right, folks, I know this isn't Parasite Eve. Uh, well, you already guessed that by the title. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm i currently in the prog process of borrowing a PS1. Uh, I tried borrowing some on PS2, tried borrowing someone's PS2, and that didn't work out too well. Uh, I couldn't even read my disc, too, and disc changing was out of the question. So... I figure next step, borrow someone's well-kept PS1. Uh, I just remembered I had a friend, or I discovered one of my friends had one. So I'm going to be borrowing that sometime in the next couple of days. And yeah, then I'll be able to continue with Parasite Eve. But until then, I figure, eh, let's do a nice, quick, short, little LP on the side to... Uh, I at least want to have some videos going on while, while, we get the, while I get Parasite Eve up and running again. So I figure, well, why not... Why not play a Mega Man game? Check a memory card and no memory card. Oh, I have to insert that in slot one. Be right back. <laughs> All right. Retry. Yes. All right. There we go. Yeah, uh, this is the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, let's start a new game. Uh, I figure I'll start with the Mega. I'll play the Mega Man games that I played the most as a kid growing up with the old regular Nintendo, and that'd be Mega Man 4. I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid. Because that's all. only ones I owned were Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 5. And, well, I Game genie my way through both of them. Yeah, that's right, I had Game Genie and I was a cheater as a kid. Don't judge me. Everyone will use the Game Genie when they were a kid. But now I've tried hunting my skills, so I'm at least semi-good at this game. And by semi-good, I mean, you know, my first game over usually doesn't happen until the Dr. Wily Castle. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, that sounds very familiar. Would this be the same as the first three Mega Man game plots? Why, yes it is. Uh Yep. It's always Dr. Wily, Dr. Light. It never is Dr. Wily. Time to modify. Having a strong sense of justice, volunteer to be converted into a fighting robot. Go Rock. Actually, no, I think this is a recap of the first Mega Man game storyline. Mega Man was born! Or Rockman, or the Blue Bomber, whichever one you prefer. And back in the day, those were awesome NES graphics. This is, this is considered top notch stuff here. Oh, yeah, definitely. And history repeats itself. Yeah, of course. Oh, am I supposed to be pressing an X button or something to get this to go forward? Nope, okay. Oh, it isn't Dr. Wily. Okay, that's new. I, I guess I was mistaken. It wasn't Wily at all. Oh, a new Mega Buster, eh? Yeah, this is the first Mega Man to introduce the charge shot. And as for Robot Master, I go for first. Toad Man or Dust Man? Toad or Dust? Toad or Dust? Toad or... Yeah, we'll go with Dust Man. We'll save Toad Man for later. Oh, hold Oh, <laughs> wow. Not even five seconds into the actual game itself and I already get hit twice. That's... That's lovely. That just fills me with all sorts of confidence. Ha ha. Oh. Ha ha. You can't touch me now. now. I'm getting back in the groove of things. Even though you do have a charge shot, I don't really like using it a whole lot. Wait. I did not realize that. On the anniversary collection, you can press circle to dash. Holy cow. Oh, that's a. Well, slide. But still. 
Ah, I'd still get hit, though. That's, well... Oh. Oh, are you serious? You're gonna ramp up the difficulty with this already? Ooh, a one-up. Nice. I will not argue with one-ups. But I will argue with that should have died. Oh. Wow. Ha. <laughs> Oh! Oh, no. Not a 1-up. Please, don't let me have a freaking 1-up curse like Rowan Mithril. Haha, <laughs> yes. Those uh, floating things are kind of hard to deal with if you miss them the first time through. Because you have to take care of the one falling down and also shoot the one floating up in order to guarantee a safe passage. Or I could have made that. I could not have made that. Oh, well. Ah! Stupid thing! Die, stupid thing! Yeah, it's... It's kind of weird. I, there's not a whole lot to talk about in this game. Now, it's one of the first Mega Man games I ever played as a kid. It's a lot of fun. And also, just like a lot of Mega Man games, it's... It doesn't have any curve... Difficulty curve. It just... First eight Robot Master levels are all kind of hard, and then you have the Wily stages, which are harder. Alright. Haha, <laughs> made it. This time, Ladybug of Propeller Doom is not going to hit me. Ha! Yes! Die! Oh, come on now. Why don't you take your death like a man? Like I did. I didn't complain or anything when I died from the freaking spikes or anything. I just made fun of myself. One up. Yay! Alright, jump. Oh, an E-Tank, sweet. Oh, I'm willing to bet this charge shot sounds kind of getting annoying to you, isn't it, viewers? Well, I'll try my best not to hold it, like, charge up all the time, but I make no promises. That's how I rolled through this game. I'd always have a charge shot ready for whenever new enemies approach. There we go. Rapid fire, action, go! Oh, hey, the triangle button next is rapid fire. I'm not going to use that. That's lame. Oh, arg. Da, 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 da. oh wait, I need to get back here because that's the. Uh... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Don't die. Woo -hoo! That was close. And you, stop hitting me. Whoa! I should not have. I should not be alive, viewers. I should not be alive at all. <laughs> That's amazing. That should have been instant death right there. I will not. I make no. Yeah, I should have died there. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I should have gotten crushed. Destroy that. Ha! He's your little whirly hard hat. He's not all that hard. That's kind of annoying, really. Ah! Dang it! Why did I have to get hit? Oh well. Once I make it to this man, though, and get a rhythm, things will be so much easier. How long have I been recording? I don't know anymore. But he's really simple. There are two things to do. Shoot and jump. Oh, three things. And run. And you can't shoot him while he's inhaling. Oh, crap me. Crap. Oh, come on now. You're gonna pull that now? In the middle of the room? Now you're gonna fire. Yeah, he's gonna fire. And somehow I got hit by one of the... E the probably the second easiest boss in the game. You know, that behind... Well, yeah. Toad Man's easier. Hands it down. Come on now. Just jump straight up. Don't worry about jumping over or anything like I did, because, well, yeah, that just messes you up. Come on now. Now, ever since I found out I can just do a da or slide using the circle button, I've been sliding a lot more, and this is kind of bad. Like, I don't want to get used to sliding everywhere, because that's not how I played this game. <laughs> Boss music is catchy. Haha, <laughs> victory! 
take that, dust man. You're not so hard now. And boop, boop, boop. Man, these are amazing graphics back in the day for Super Nintendo, or for regular Nintendo. Superb graphics. Uh, yeah, sit saving, auto saving, so I don't have to worry about recording down these passwords or anything. Be beautiful. Let's go to stage select. Do I have enough time for one more? Uh, yeah, I have enough time for one more. And I just realized. There we go. I don't know. I'm sorry if you can hear that over the, over my mic viewers, but I had the volume up on my uh, TV. So there's kind of a sound lag between the two, and I hate when that happens in other LPs that I watch, so I kind of want to avoid that here. This music is so catchy, but this place is kind of horrible. There are. Oh. <laughs> I messed up that horribly. But yeah, I mean, this stage is. Like, it it does fit the Skull Man's name, but that's a lot of bone like objects. And you have to wonder if these are actual fossils or if they're like. are. Uh, they're stage design. Or not stage design. They're, of course they're stage design, but. Are they aesthetic fossils or are they. Like, are they just for aesthetics or are they, were they actually there? And, huh. Weird. I'm, this game's being very generous with one-ups. I'm not used to that at all. Haha. <laughs> wow, I. Okay, does your commentary's failing, Sven? You, you don't let the catchy music distract you from talking. What to talk about? I mean, there isn't a whole lot to talk about this game mechanics wise. I've already gone over the buttons, which circles dash, triangle is rapid, uh, triangle is rapid fire, which I don't like using at all. Because you know I'm, I'm a big fan of charging up, and most of the enemies are pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I've already demonstrated this guy right here. You know, if you from the front, you're screwed. If you from the back, you're safe. Oh, snap. Oh, that works. Run, run, run! Or da slide, 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 I should say. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mega Man games, they're, they're probably some of my, one of my favorite franchises as a kid. I, I, I played Mega Man long before I was introduced to Final Fantasy and other RPGs, so yeah, for a while this was my kind of gaming. Oh, that one, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I played the heck out of some Super Mario Brothers. Especially the, uh, the first one. Oh, the first one, I used to play that game so much, I got really good. I mean, let me put it this way. When you play, when you're stuck in a place where there's no TV or anything, and all you have with you is your trusty Game Boy with a copy of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for 10 days, you're gonna get good at Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. It's practically all I did throughout that vacation when I wasn't uh, out somewhere else. If I was in the house, bam, Super Mario Bros. All right, and I could use, use his weakness on him, which is Dustman, but I don't know why bother. Just, uh, wait for the shield to go down. Shoot. Don't get hit like a... Uh, oh. I said don't get hit like a noob. And what do I do? I get hit like a... Stop hitting me! Alright, whatever. You called on it. You called for it. Dusty rat! Sven, <laughs> <laughs> you fail at this game. Why did you do this? Why did you agree to LP this game? You're horrible at it. <laughs> oh well, it'll be fun for all of us. Come on now. Alright, jump over the bullets. What was the pattern to this? I know there's a legit pattern to them, but I forget what it is. Ah. Uh... Wait, what? The, the skulls were, like, touching me and they didn't even hurt? The skulls don't do anything except deflect my bullets? What? 
<laughs> you find out something every day. You just find out something new every day, don't you? Anywho, I think this is a great place to call this a video. Uh, we'll get the power screen, and then we'll call it there. Yeah, so, you know, this is just a little side thing I'm working on until Parasite Eve gets up and running. I'm just working out some details about getting that PS1. So, anyway, thank you for watching, everyone, and I shall see you tomorrow.